Well, good morning guys from Poznan, Poland. In the previous video, I tried to show you the beauty of this city, but it turned out it's a massive construction site. So my apologies to the Poznanskis, but um, we have to take matters in our own hand today and take a day trip to another city, which is labeled the Venice of the North, which is an interesting name because I thought that's what people in Stockholm call their city. Or how was Dutchies call Amsterdam. Probably there's more Venices of the North and one of them we're gonna see today, and that is the city of Wroclaw. I hope I said that right. Anyway, we're gonna jump on the train and do some more Polish adventurizing. Join me. Are you ready to explore a Polish train station with me? It's where the modern. I was hoping for an old station looking like that. Postman Glauny. But yeah. Polish economy is booming and so uh, these infrastructures advance as well. We're looking for carriage 14. Oh, it's huge. And these are all the places where we can go to. Let's see. We can go to Sebastinek, Mogilno, Szczesinglauny, we've been there, Schlups. It's very hard to pronounce Polish words as a foreigner. Here we go, new adventure. Welcome to beautiful Wroclaw. I think I pronounced it wrong in the intro. Wroclaw. I'm sorry Polish people, but uh, I struggle with your alphabet and the letters. So uh, yeah, look at it. Ah, so exciting. New adventure, new city. Uncharted territories for the channel and for me never been here All right, let's see if we can get another coffee and uh, start exploring Wroclaw Ah, sorry the city center is this way. Okay He was not amused, but uh, now we know where the city center is uh, They're a bit stoic the Polish people um, Wroclaw, Wroclaw, Wroclaw. I need to practice on my pronunciation Sorry guys if I'm butchering it, it's just so hard to uh, read and pronounce the Polish words. Read your alphabet with the funny strikes between the L. Here. Ulica Svitniska, Plac Tadushka Kosciuszki. Kosciuszki. As a Dutchman, this shouldn't be so hard for me, but uh, somehow I just can't get my head around it. Not a mosaic, but a mural. Still counts. Nice. In the early 1930s, the Nazis here won a local election with a small majority. Of course, the war didn't end well for them, as the Soviets came through these lands and crushed them, imposing communist rule on Poland. But the Poles weren't happy with that. They wanted a free and democratic Poland. And so the resistance grew, and the dwarf became the symbol of fighting against giants and bigger structures. At last, here we are in 2023 in a free and democratic Poland. So yeah, let's honor the dwarves because there's over hundred of these statues spread across the city. And let's see if I can at least find 10 of them today and honor the dwarves as they won a battle against giants. Uh -huh. This is more like it, I guess. This is the potential Poznan has, but uh, look at it. It's beautiful. We, I guess, are at the main square of Wroclaw. For a city that claims to be the Venice of the North, they don't have much bridges. We have been here for two hours. I haven't seen any bridge, so uh, let's try and find some. Or is it just a fake claim? A tourist trap. Who knows? Wow. Another bridge. A big one. You can't claim this to be... You can't claim this to be a tourist attraction. Really? I'm at the river. 
here should be more bridges that look beautiful and cool like in Amsterdam or Venice or Stockholm but yeah this is not the Venice I expected I must say Roslavskis get your tourism board in order because if this is the Venice of the North and this is the bridges you have then I feel tricked as a tourist this can't be it right there should be more well it's not exactly like Venice but I guess we have to do with this for now not too bad Roslav Let's retreat to the city center. See if we can find something else for the vlog. What a tricksters you are, Voslavskis. Venice of the North Mine. Well, when in doubt, do a food review. Polish dumplings and Polish beer. What else do you want after an adventure? The main course. It's amazing. We have some pork neck here. So well cooked, really, really good. Guys, we have a problem. It's 4 p.m. and I'm absolutely hammered, smashed, that is. And uh, so I went to this Polish restaurant, got some food, some dumplings, some meat, way too much, to be honest. And I got an open tab, unlimited beer from the waitress because you couldn't believe she had a flogger in her restaurant. If only she knew that at the time of filming, we are on one of the three subscribers or so. Anyway, Roslav, a 10 out of 10. Amazing people, great waitresses. So I'll see you in Riga next time. And um, I might have a beer before I go back to Poznan. Don't drink kids, it's bad for you. Adios, Voslav. A beautiful city. Thank you, Voslavskis, for hosting. If you ever watch this, let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, if I represented your city or Irish. Bye bye.